Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about something that you may have already noticed, and that is Carol can't turn right. So let's think back to the make a tower exercise. So you may have gotten to a point in the program where you got Carol to the top of the tower and you wanted Carol to turn right to face east. You, you may have even typed out turn right and you probably found out that it did not work. Carol cannot turn right. Carol only knows those original four commands. So instead, what can we do? You probably discovered that instead of turning right, we can turn left three times and achieve the same results. Carol will go from north through west, south, and then finally end up facing east. So Carol will pretty much turn right, but that's not really the best way to do it. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just say turn right? That is really what we want Carol to do. We don't want Carol to have to turn left three times. So how can we do that? Introducing functions. Functions are a way we can teach Carol new words. So what is a function? It's a way to teach Carol new words and break away from the original four commands that we had to start with and we can teach Carol a new command. You might hear functions called different things such as procedures, tasks, processes, but in this course we're mainly going to call them functions. We want to teach Carol how to turn right. So how do we do that? This is how we teach Carol to turn right. We write def, short for define, and then we give the function a name, open and close parentheses in a colon. Then for every command that we want to be a part of the function, we write it indented by one tab or one level. In Python, we use indentation to help delineate our code. So the function body would contain these three commands to turn left. Once we stop indenting, the commands are no longer a part of the function. So in this case, the move command would not be part of our function. One thing that is different about Python compared to other languages is that the order that we put our function in matters. In Python, we must define a function before we can call it. When we go to execute our programs, Python reads from the top down, and if it gets to the command to turn right, but hasn't seen the definition to turn right yet, it'll produce an error. So let's take a look at how we use functions and how we can teach Carol new commands in the editor. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can use this make a tower with a turn right command. So if you think back to what we did, we probably started off with a move command, and then we would have said turn left, if we go back and check this so far, you can see, okay, we've done that. Now we need to put a ball down. So we're gonna say put ball and then move. Okay, let's go check that again. Okay, so we're off to a good start. But let's continue from here. So now we want to, uh, we want to put another ball. Then we're gonna move, put ball and move. Let's run that right there. We got to reset and run. Okay, so now we're at the top of our pyramid. We're close to having the, the result world here, but what we need to do is, if we look at our exercise, we need to have Carol facing east, and right now Carol is facing north. So what we want to try is something like turn right. And if we do that, and we go to run, we're going to see, uh-oh, turn right is not defined on line 9. So if you remember, we probably, to solve this, said let's go and turn left three times. And that would solve it for us. So let's go ahead and reset, and then we'll try running that. So there goes Carol up the tower, turns left, and nice job, we got it. Okay, so now what we want to do though is we want to make that turn right command. So now remember in Python we got to put that command up top here. And so we're going to make a function and we're going to teach Carol a new word and we're going to teach Carol that turn right command. So we start off with def for define and then we're going to say turn right. So we're going to teach Carol how to turn right. Okay, now our format in Python we put a colon after our definition. And now notice how we start off indenting a line there. So now we want to take these three commands and we're going to take them and put them up 
in our command there. So now we have to make sure that we are indenting all the same. Remember, our code that's indented is part of our function, and our code that's not indented is not part of our function. So all these commands will not be part of our function. All of these are. So if I go ahead and reset, you'll notice the program just really skips over that turn right, and it comes up, and we haven't turned right yet because we've only told Carol how to do that command. We haven't actually asked Carol to do it. So we're going to go down here, and now we're going to ask Carol to turn right. Okay, so we're going to go back and reset that. Now that we're calling our function, it should execute these commands. And you'll notice, as it goes and executes the commands, this line that's showing where we're executing is going to jump up into that function and come down and run the lines. And there we go. We've now taught Carol how to turn right. So now it's your turn to play around in the editor.